Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about class methods in Java. Now, class methods are basically methods that you can put inside of a Java class, and they can help that class to become more powerful and to perform specific functions. So over here, I've actually created a class called student. And this is a really simple class. And it basically just like models a student for our program. So it'll say like, student and we have three attributes name major and gpa so this is like a very simple class and you'll see down here i have this constructor or this initialize method and i'm passing in three values so name major and gpa and i'm basically just giving all of these values some initial values so let's say that we wanted to create a student object i can come over to app.java and we can create a new student so i can say student my student and we can just set it equal to new student and we can pass it some initial attributes right so i think the first one was name so we can say me so it'll be mike and then i think the second one was major so we can just say like computer science and finally we're going to pass it a gpa so why don't we pass it a gpa of 3.2 okay so we've passed it all the information and we now have this student. Awesome. So I'm gonna show you guys how we can use class methods in order to do something cool with this student class. So over here in this student class, let's say that we wanted to have a way where we could figure out if the student was on the honor roll or not, right? So we create a student over here, we give it a name, we give it a major and we give it a GPA. So we're not, telling it whether or not it's on the honor roll. Let's say that there's a certain rule for honors. For In order to have honors, you have to have a GPA of 3.5 or above. Let's just say that how, that's how it works. Well, in this student class, I could create a method which would tell us whether or not the current student has honors. So I'm gonna come down here and I can create a method just like this. I can just say public, and we're gonna make this a Boolean. So I can just say public Boolean, and we wanna give this method a name. And basically it's gonna return a Boolean value, true or false. And I'm just gonna call this is on honor roll. So this method is gonna tell us whether or not the current student is on the honor roll. And I'm just gonna make an open and closed curly bracket. Now inside of here, I can actually use some of the information about this specific object in order to tell. So. Remember, the rules for the honor roll is if you have a GPA of 3.5 or above, then you're technically considered on the honor roll. So we can just say if this dot GPA, and when I use this keyword right here, it's referring to this GPA up here. So it's referring to this variable. And remember, when we created the object, we gave it an initial value that the user passed in over here. So I can say this dot GPA, so if this.gpa is greater than or equal to 3.5, then we know the user's on the honor roll. So we can just return true. Otherwise, we can just return false. So if this if condition wasn't true and we didn't return true, then we'll just go ahead and return false. So now what I can do is I can head over to my app.java file. And with this new student, I can actually check to see if they're on the honor roll. So I can say like, system.out.println and inside of here we're basically just going to access our student so we'll say my student and we can just execute that method that's inside of that student class so i can say dot is on honor roll and i can just access it like this and i need to use these open and close parentheses just like i normally would when calling a function and my student dot is on honor roll will give us a true or a false value, basically telling us if the student is on the honor roll. So I can run this program and you'll see over here we get false. So I passed this a GPA of 3.2 so the student doesn't qualify for the honor roll. But if I was to pass this like a 3.6, now when I run the program, this should be true because the student has a GPA that qualifies him or her for the honor roll. And this is kind of how class methods can come in handy. You can create these little methods inside of your classes which perform certain functions. So in our case, 
this method told us whether or not the student was on the honor roll based on just some arbitrary rules that we created. And so you can create as many of these different methods as you want inside of your classes, and they can be really useful for performing specific functions on those objects. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.